Today we're breaking down 10 reasons to consider getting an iPhone 14 Pro in 2023, particularly for content creation. So I bought my iPhone 14 Pro 256 gigabyte version last year when it came out. And really I was looking for something that I could use to complement my content creation, something that was always with me and something that was simple to use. And after several months, these are my top 10 reasons to get an iPhone 14 Pro for your content creation. So point one is the camera system. Let's have a quick look. You have the main 48 megapixel quad pixel camera, which has a 24 millimeter and 48 millimeter focal length. The telephoto camera is 12 megapixels with a 77 millimeter focal length. And the ultra wide camera is 12 megapixels megapixels with a 13 millimeter focal length. Also, the selfie camera is rated as one of the best selfie cameras that you can currently get, which is perfect for content creation when you are out and about. Point two is the Pro Raw mode for photography. As we just mentioned, you can shoot 48 megapixel photos on the iPhone 14 Pro, but only in Pro Raw mode. So make sure that you select it in the settings under camera, formats, Apple Pro Raw, with the resolution set to 48 megapixels. Then when you go to take your photo in the camera, make sure that you turn on the Pro Raw option. Pro Raw photos retain much more detail in the image file for more editing flexibility. Just bear in mind that those 48 megapixel Pro Raw photos are very large files at around 75 megabytes each or even higher than that. So just be mindful of your iPhone storage if shooting in this mode. The iPhone 14 Pro also features advanced computational photography features such as Deep Fusion, which uses machine learning to take multiple images at different exposures and then merges them into one high quality photo. And you also have night mode, which allows you to take stunning low light photos and videos without the need for a flash. This is perfect for capturing memories at concerts, parties, and other low light events. Point three is the ProRes video. We get Pro Raw for photos, but also there is a ProRes video format, which allows for even more professional grade video editing. This format captures more detail and color information than traditional video formats, resulting in more dynamic range and cinematic footage. Say hello, mommy. However, just like the ProRes photos, it comes at the cost of more storage. One minute of 10-bit HDR ProRes 4K video requires approximately six gigabytes of storage, meaning that you get about 20 minutes of video if shooting on the 128 gigabyte version of the iPhone 14 Pro. Bear that in mind, it's definitely not practical to overuse this feature. Point four is a cinematic mode that you can shoot up to 4K 30 frames per second. This feature still requires some work as it's not perfect, but when it gets it right, mm, it looks so good. I know there's a lot of processing going on creating that image, but I definitely feel that we have come leaps and bounds with the technology, and I look forward to seeing how Apple improves this in the future. For now, it's a great way to get good video when you're out and about shooting. I know many of you probably think that the cinematic mode leaves a lot to be desired. It still looks very digitally processed, but I think that for many of us, particularly photographers and videographers who just want to get the shot, maybe getting our camera out, setting all the manual settings, the ISO aperture shutter speed, by the time we've done all that, the moment's gone. So having your camera ready to go on your iPhone is really convenient and it's not the best picture, that's true, but it still looks relatively good. Um, and depending on what screen you're watching it on, it can be a lifesaver to capture those little moments. Point five is the 4K video. We've already spoken about cinematic mode, but you also have recording capabilities to shoot in 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second. I found this to be the perfect complement while shooting my Canon R6 videos, particularly for behind the scenes stuff, quick talking headpieces and shots for when you don't have your DSLR or mirrorless camera with you. Point six is the video stabilization mode. The video action mode allows you to shoot handheld footage. You can literally run with the phone and still get smooth video as if you'd shot it on a gimbal. All of this is perfectly convenient for travel filmmakers who don't want to lug gimbals around. Even mobile device gimbals can be quite awkward to carry. With your iPhone 14, it's as simple as grabbing your phone, getting the footage, you never need to worry about shaky footage ever again. Point seven is the A16 Bionic chip, six core CPU with two performance and four efficiency cores, five core GPU and 16 core neural engine. What does that even mean? Good question. Essentially, it has the power to handle even the most demanding video and photography tasks and apps, making it possible to shoot those pro raw and pro res photos and videos and allowing you to edit your photos and videos on the go without having to transfer them to a computer. It's just so convenient. Point eight are the accessories that you can get third party companies companies like Freewell are making a ton of accessories for the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. For example, the Sherpa filter system uses a special magnetic case, allowing you to attach a range of different filters, a remote grip and selfie stick. For me personally, I love the mist filter as it helps to reduce the digital look of the overall image. I do have a thorough breakdown video of this system and I'll leave a link to it somewhere down below. Point nine in line with the accessories are the apps. With the iPhone 14 Pro, you also get access to a wide range of photography and video editing apps such as Lightroom, CapCut and Filmic Pro. 
Pro. These apps allow you to edit your photos and videos on the go, and apps like Filmic Pro give you the ability to manually set the aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, just like a DSLR or mirrorless camera, turning your iPhone into a mini cinematic machine. And lastly, point 10, the iPhone 14 Pro has a durable design, making it a perfect travel companion for your photography and videography adventures. With its water and dust resistance, you can take it with you wherever you go without having to worry about damaging it. It's rated IP68, which means it gets a maximum depth of six meters up to 30 minutes. But that's no excuse to treat it badly make sure you look after it. So yes, the iPhone 14 Pro is a powerful and versatile device that is perfect for photography and videography enthusiasts. You have an advanced camera system, pro motion technology, the A16 Bionic chip, action mode, cinematic mode, night mode, and advanced computational photography features. It allows you to capture stunning photos and videos even in low light conditions. So what do you guys think? Are you interested in getting an iPhone 14 Pro for your content creation journey? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And now that you've watched this video, make sure that you check out my comparison of the iPhone 14 Pro photos and videos against the full frame Canon 5D Mark IV DSLR camera. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell for notifications. In the meantime, stay creative, stay safe, imagine, implement and inspire. And I'll see you in the next video.